morning, Charlotte. Get off your phone. Sebastian, honey, time for school. Morning, Mom. Morning, honey. Sebastian, here's your homework. Charlotte, your cheer uniform is in the laundry room. Stop blowing bubbles in your juice. Hey, Mom, after school, can we get our Christmas tree? Yes, can we please? No, not today. Your dad's picking you up after school for the weekend. Okay, so we're running late. You got 15 minutes. We're not late. Early is on time. And on, on time, time is late. Late, exactly. Go, go, go. business going good I thought you were starting a new workout routine today um well I'm not really a morning person so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it after work no I have volleyball after work uh, I'll start it tomorrow have a good day bye Okay, Austin, time for your healthy pet visit. Let's go, go, go. <laughs> hey, Everett. Hello. How was your weekend? It's good. Yeah. How was yours? Oh, how was your date? Um, he spent the entire time talking about his ex-girlfriend. And then he showed me videos of them together last Christmas. Wow. <laughs> then he started crying. Okay. <laughs> So, no second date, I take it? No, nope, definitely not. I went home and I added not your therapist to my dating profile. <laughs> what? James wants the presentation by noon? Mm hmm He assigned it to us last night. Mm hmm I really need a new job. Yeah, how many years have you been saying that? Yeah, well, I just need to update my resume. Mm hmm Um, I, I, I would have gotten here sooner. I had to deposit the bake sale money. Well, Charlotte was disrespectful in class and rude to her teacher. That doesn't sound like Charlotte. Um, okay, I'll talk to her. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about Christmas. I was hoping to take the kids to Florida. My parents were at the beach house. Um, do the kids know about it? Well, I wanted to talk to you first. Don't worry, I'll have them back by the 30th like we planned. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they'll love that. So don't forget the sunscreen and their hats and the sun shirts. <laughs> you know how Sebastian burns. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just get out. Do better. Ooh. Scrooge is on a warpath today. What did I miss? Earlier this morning, he fired Sutton for going to her uncle's wedding instead of the new Summit Marketing Conference. No! Sophia? Yikes. Oh. All right. Yes. Well, Sophia, we have a problem. Oh. Yes, our former accounting assistant didn't bother filing any invoices before he gave his notice. Uh, Jake said he finished those. Well, by the looks of it, he didn't even start. And they all have to be processed by the end of the year. Well... Next week is Christmas, and I'm going to be out of the country. Mm, well, then I suggest you find someone who will be in the country and, you know, just... 
I'll reschedule my trip. That's Well, I want someone else's life this Christmas. Hey, hey, can you talk? Uh, just give me a second. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, what's wrong? What happened? Patrick's taking the kids out of town. I'd ask if I can still come on your trip to Mexico, but there's no one who can watch the dog at this late date, so I'm just stuck here. Yeah, the trip is off. I'm stuck here working all next week. Aw. Still rather be you than me. Still there? Mm-hmm. I'm just remembering how we used to switch places as kids all the time. You used to do my math exams for me. Yeah. You went to the junior prom with Patrick as me. <laughs> I had the flu. Thought he'd ask Becky McKinnon. <laughs> well, would you like to mindlessly process invoices here while I enjoy the snow and watch Christmas movies? Yeah, that's a great idea. And then you can come here and you wouldn't even have any distractions. You could work on your new resume and apply for new jobs. Yeah, that... I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Sophia, um, James wants all the analytical reports done by 2 o'clock today. Yeah. You know what? All right. Yeah, let's do it. Let's switch places for Christmas. Great. Okay. I believe we're doing this. Well, we've never been caught before. Okay, the, the one time. Here's my phone. Okay, here's mine. Oh, and this. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, I have to wear this. Yep, yeah, modern scrubs for the working mom. <laughs> All right. Time for some serious alterations. Oh, boy. <laughs> No, 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 no,
Oh, all right. Austin, I have to go buy you more food. Uh... Oh, that's better. Oh. Hi. Are you kidding me? Sorry, I mean... Hi. Hi, Cloud. How was your day? Good. Your hair's different. Yeah, I uh, thought I could use a change. Do you like it? Different. Did you move my beats? Yeah. Yeah, just to vacuum. I put them away. Oh, Sophia. It took me hours to organize them by you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, um... The apartment looks nice, right? <laughs> Is Charlotte? I heard all about it from Natalie. Uh, what happened? I mean, what did you hear happened? Mrs. Turney asked each of the students what holiday family traditions they were most looking forward to, and Charlotte refused to participate. Aww. Um, you know, we're having the conversations. I'm sure you are. How are you? Are you ready for Christmas? Um, well, Patrick has the kids. Uh, so it's just me and Austin. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I know how hard that'll be for you. No, 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 not at all. I'm really looking forward to having the house to myself. Oh, you are? That's a good attitude. Yeah, because, oh, I'm gonna miss them so much, and... Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get through the holidays without them. Well, you're strong. You will get through this. The children will be back before you know it. Thank you. I'll uh, see you soon. Okay. recommend the Yule log. Um, I don't know. That gingerbread looks pretty good. Mm, trust me. Go for the Yule log. Did you bake it yourself? Bye, Kaylin. Actually, I did. Anything. Okay. Guess I have to get myself some Yule log. You won't regret it. <laughs> I'm Jonathan, by the way. Hi. You know, Kaylin, Yule log tastes a lot better when it's shared over coffee. Uh, I'd, I'd love that, but I have to get home and give Austin his dinner. Austin, I see. <laughs> no, no, no. Austin's a dog. Oh. <laughs> Just a cute dog. He thinks he's a person, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another time? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. finish my resume tomorrow. Austin, my friend. What movie should we watch? Uh... Hi, Mom. Surprise, surprise. We're back after all. Who? Uh, Patrick, I thought you were in Florida. Yeah, I tried calling you. Uh, my dad has a bad cold, so we canceled. Well, I hope he feels better. Thank you. And we came home to a burst pipe in the apartment, so... Looks like you have the kids for Christmas after all. Spoke with Charlotte. She's grounded for the school incident. No phone, no friends. 
Yeah, it seems like the the family holiday tradition assignment really hit a sensitive spot with her. Right, that's no excuse to be rude. No, of course not, but it's Christmas, so. Right, and we agreed to present a unified front no matter what. Yes, of course. Seb, buddy, it's time for bed. Go brush your teeth, okay? Okay. Good night, Mom. Good night, honey. We're glad you're here. Look at you. Aww. <laughs> love, love, love your new hair. Thank you. I decided I needed a change for Christmas, especially with canceling Cancun and everything. Oh, yeah, that's a bummer. You honestly need a new job, right? Yeah. I keep saying that, and I don't do anything about it. <laughs> How's the boyfriend? Adam. Adam. He's amazing, just wonderful. The only thing is, he has this best friend that just broke up with his girlfriend and he tags along with us everywhere we go. What? Hey. What? I should totally set you up with Grayson. No. No, no, no. I've sworn off dating till, until the new year. But you're always begging me to set you up with a good guy. So. Uh, yes, no, I know that I keep <laughs> dating the same type of guy and it doesn't work out and I don't learn my lesson, but please, no. Exactly why I'm setting this up, no excuses. Mm -mm. <laughs> I, okay, I would love to meet Grayson the week after Christmas. Looks like tomorrow night works just great for Grayson. Megan, I'm serious. Oh my God, I, babe. You don't have to thank me. You're so welcome. It's okay. <laughs> Morning, honey. Since Dad's not coming, can we get our Christmas tree today? Sure. Really? Yeah, why not? Right now? Yeah, why not? <gasps> Go get your coat. I'll get your sister. Yes! Charlotte, you up? I'm sorry your trip got canceled. But I'm happy you're back. I missed you, my beautiful girl. Sebastian wants to get a Christmas tree. You want to get up? I can't. I'm grounded. Mm. Do you understand why your dad grounded you? I was reading class, and I'm sorry. I already apologized to my teacher. Hey, I understand why you didn't want to do the assignment. I promise everything's going to be OK. Hmm. Am I still grounded? You're good. Listen, because it's Christmas, I'm gonna make an exception. But you can't tell your dad. 
You're the best. I won't. Okay. Could I have my phone too? Oh, you're pushing it now. <laughs> Hey, new hair. I like it. Oh, thank you. I'm not used to anyone noticing when I do something different. How was your night? Um, holiday dinner with friends. It was fun, but I'm not used to staying out so late on a school night. Really? You? Hazards of a carefree life. <laughs> Not letting me log in. Well, your your caps lock is on. Oh, haha. <laughs> Thanks. Sophia. Morning, James. Good morning. Listen, I need 30 copies of this for the meeting in five minutes. Get me a refill and tell Jack Simmons I gotta push the lunch till next week. That's 30 copies. Coffee. Push lunch with Jack Simmons. Got it. Me? Where are the 30 copies? Where's IT? I'm getting to it, James. I only have two hands. What did you say? I'll get you 30 copies, stapled, just like you asked. And IT. Oh, I think I might have found it. Oh, no, this one. <laughs> this one is even better. Hey, someone's excited for Christmas. Seriously. <laughs> hey, you can pick any tree you want. Really? You're letting us pick? Yeah, well, after I approve it. Oh, guys, I think I found it. This is the one. Oh. Uh, Jonathan. <laughs> okay, I promise you I'm not following you. Okay. I swear. <laughs> I'm just here to pick up a couple of trees for the community center. Oh, good Samaritan. Well, I'm going to make sure I'm on Santa's nice list. Are you usually on his naughty list? Never. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I tried the Yule log. You're right. It's delicious. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. About that coffee. Yeah. Are you free tomorrow? I should be, yeah. I have your number? Um, why don't you give me yours? Sure, yeah. I look forward to your call. Great. You have one new message. Kaylin, you have to go on this date tonight. Megan will be suspicious if you don't. And what if Grayson is the love of my life and another girl snatches him up before I can meet him? Do you want to have that on your conscience forever? <sighs> Stop sighing. Dating is a numbers game. And I didn't want to go to prom with Patrick, but I did it for you. The very least you can do is go on this date with Grayson for me. So I got my real estate license and I move up here. A lot of my properties go for seven or eight figures. Wow. I collect sports cars. I've got a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a limited edition Bugatti. Uh, wow, I used to collect vintage records. I, I am hoping to get a Pagani to my collection next, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, if you want to give me 15 bucks for your half, <laughs> that'll cover your half. <laughs> Oh, you're not kidding. Um, what's that routine today? Um, well, I'm not really a morning person, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it after work. No, I have volleyball after work. Uh, I'll start it tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.
Okay, Austin. Time for your healthy pet visit. Let's go, go, go. <laughs> Hey, Everett. Hello. How was your weekend? It was good. Yeah. How was yours? Oh, how was your date? Um, he spent the entire time talking about his ex-girlfriend. And then he showed me videos of them together last Christmas. Wow. <laughs> then he started crying. Okay. <laughs> so, no second date, I take it? No, nope, definitely not. I went home and I added not your therapist to my dating profile. <laughs> What? James wants the presentation by noon? Mm-hmm. He assigned it to us last night. Mm -hmm. I really need a new job. Yeah, how many years have you been saying that? Yeah, well, I just need to update my resume. Mm-hmm. Hey, what happened? Um, I, I, I would have gotten here sooner. I had to deposit the bake sale money. Well, Charlotte was disrespectful in class and rude to her teacher. That doesn't sound like Charlotte. Um, okay, I'll talk to her. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about Christmas. I was hoping to take the kids to Florida. My parents were at the beach house. Um, do the kids know about it? Well, I wanted to talk to you first. Don't worry, I'll have them back by the 30th, like we planned. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they'll love that. So don't forget the sunscreen and their hats and the sun shirts. <laughs> you know how Sebastian burns. Yeah, yeah just get up. Do better. This bridge is on a warpath today. What did I miss? Earlier this morning, he fired Sutton for going to her uncle's wedding instead of the new summit marketing conference. No! Sophia? Yikes. Oh. All right. Yes. Well, Sophia, we have a problem. Oh. Yes, our former accounting assistant didn't bother filing any invoices before he gave his notice. Uh, Jake said he finished those. Well, by the looks of it, he didn't even start. And they all have to be processed by the end of the year. Well... Next week is Christmas, and I'm going to be out of the country. Mm, well, then I suggest you find someone who will be in the country and, you know, just... I'll reschedule my trip. That's smart. Someone else's life this Christmas. <laughs> hey. Hey, can you talk? Uh, just give me a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? What happened? Patrick's taking the kids out of town. I'd ask if I can still come on your trip to Mexico, but there's no one who can watch the dog at this late date, so I'm just stuck here. Yeah, the trip is off. I'm stuck here working all next week. Aw. Still rather be you than me. Still there? Mm-hmm. I'm just remembering how we used to switch places as kids all the time. You used to do my math exams for me. Yeah. You went to the junior prom with Patrick as me. I had the flu. Bonnie to ask Becky again. <laughs> well, would you like to mindlessly process invoices here while I enjoy the snow and watch Christmas movies? Yeah, that's a great idea. And then you can come here and you wouldn't even have any distractions. You could work on your new resume and apply for new jobs. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Sophia, um, James wants all the analytic reports done by 2 o'clock today. Yeah. You know what? All right. Yeah, let's do it. Let's switch places for Christmas. Great. Okay. Ah, hi. Oh. I can't believe we're doing this. Well, we've never been caught before. Okay, yeah, the one time. Here's my phone. Okay, 
here's mine. Oh, and this. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I have to wear this. Yep, modern scrubs for the working mom. <laughs> All right. Time for some serious alterations. Oh boy. <laughs> buy you more food. Yeah, I uh, thought I could use a change. Do you like it? It's different. Did you move my beads? Yeah, yeah, just to vacuum. I put them away. Oh, Sophia, it took me hours to organize them by you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, um, the apartment looks nice, right? <laughs> I heard all about it from Natalie. Uh, what happened? I mean, what did you hear happened? Mrs. Turney asked each of the students what holiday family traditions they were most looking forward to, and Charlotte refused to participate. Aww. Um, you know, we're having the conversations. I'm sure you are. 
How are you? Are you ready for Christmas? Um, well, Patrick has the kids, uh, so it's just me and Austin. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I know how hard that'll be for you. No, 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 not at all. I'm really looking forward to having the house to myself. Oh, you are? That's a good attitude. Yeah, because, oh, I'm gonna miss them so much, and... Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get through the holidays without them. Well, you're strong. You will get through this. The children will be back before you know it. Thank you. I'll uh, see you soon. Okay. <laughs> I recommend the Yule log. Um, I don't know. That gingerbread looks pretty good. Mm, trust me. Go for the Yule log. Did you bake it yourself? Bye, Kaylin. Actually, I did. Anything. Okay. Guess I have to get myself some Yule log. You won't regret it. <laughs> I'm Jonathan, by the way. Hi. You know, Kaylin, Yule log tastes a lot better when it's shared over coffee. Uh, I, I'd love that, but I have to get home and give Austin his dinner. Austin, I see. No, no, no. Austin's a dog. Oh. <laughs> Just a cute dog. He thinks he's a person, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another time? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. finish my resume tomorrow. Austin, my friend. What movie should we watch? Uh... Hi, Mom. Surprise, surprise. We're back after all. Who? Uh, Patrick, I thought you were in Florida. Yeah, I tried calling you. Uh, my dad has a bad cold, so we canceled. Well, I hope he feels better. Thank you. And we came home to a burst pipe in the apartment, so... Looks like you have the kids for Christmas, after all. Spoke with Charlotte. She's grounded for the school incident. No phone, no friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like the... The family holiday tradition assignment really hit a sensitive spot with her. Right, that's no excuse to be rude. No, of course not, but it's Christmas, so... Right, and we agreed to present a unified front no matter what. Yes, of course. Seb, buddy, it's time for bed. Go brush your teeth, okay? Okay. Good night, Mom. Good night, honey. Holiday dinner. We're glad you're here. Look at you. Aww. 
Love, love, love your new hair. Thank you. I decided I needed a change for Christmas, especially with canceling Cancun and everything. Oh, yeah, that's a bummer. You honestly need a new job. Right? Yeah. I keep saying that, and I don't do anything about it. <laughs> How's the boyfriend? Adam? Adam. He's amazing, just wonderful. The only thing is, he has this best friend that just broke up with his girlfriend and he tags along with us everywhere we go. What? Hey, what? I should totally set you up with Grayson. No, 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 no. I've sworn off dating till, until the new year. But you're always begging me to set you up with a good guy. So. Uh, yes, no, I know that I keep <laughs> dating the same type of guy and it doesn't work out and I don't learn my lesson, but please, no. That's exactly why I'm setting this up, no excuses. <laughs> I, okay, I would love to meet Grayson the week after Christmas. Looks like tomorrow night works just great for Grayson. Megan, I'm serious. Oh my God, I, babe, you don't have to thank me. You're so welcome, it's okay. <laughs> Morning, honey. Since Dad's not coming, can we get our Christmas tree today? Sure. Really? Yeah, why not? Right now? Yeah, why not? <gasps> Go get your coat. I'll get your sister. Yes! Charlotte, you up? <sighs> I'm sorry your trip got canceled. But I'm happy you're back. I missed you, my beautiful girl. Sebastian wants to get a Christmas tree. You want to get up? I can't. I'm grounded. Mm. Do you understand why your dad grounded you? I was rude in class, and I'm sorry. I already apologized to my teacher. Hey, I understand why you didn't want to do the assignment. I promise everything's going to be okay. Hmm. Am I still grounded? You're good. Listen, because it's Christmas, I'm going to make an exception. But you can't tell your dad. You're the best. I won't. Okay. Could I have my phone too? Oh, you're pushing it now. <laughs> hey, new hair. I like it. Oh, thank you. I'm not used to anyone noticing when I do something different. <laughs> How was your night? Um, holiday dinner with friends. It was fun, but I'm not used to staying out so late on a school night. Really? You? Hazards of a carefree life. <laughs> <laughs> it is not letting me log in. Well, your, your caps lock is on. Oh, haha. <laughs> Thanks. Sophia. Morning, James. Good morning. Listen, I need 30 copies of this for the meeting in five minutes. Get me a refill and tell Jack Sims I gotta push the lunch till next week. That's 30 copies. Coffee. Push lunch with Jack Simmons. Got it. Coffee? Where are the 30 copies? Where's IT? I'm getting to it, James. I only have two hands. What did you say? I'll get you 30 copies, stapled, just like you asked. And IT. Ooh. Oh, I 
think I might have found it. Oh, no, this one. <laughs> this one is even better. I think someone's excited for Christmas. Seriously. <laughs> hey, you can pick any tree you want. Really? You're letting us pick? Yeah, well, after I approve it. Oh, guys, I think I found it. This is the one. Oh. Jonathan. <laughs> okay, I promise you I'm not following you. Okay. I swear. <laughs> I'm just here to pick up a couple of trees for the community center. Oh, good Samaritan. Oh, I gotta make sure I'm on Santa's nice list. Are you usually on this naughty list? Never. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I tried the Yule log. You're right. It's delicious. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. About that coffee. Yeah. Are you free tomorrow? I should be, yeah. I have your number? Um, why don't you give me yours? Sure, yeah. I look forward to your call. Great. You have one new message. Kaylin, you have to go on this date tonight. Megan will be suspicious if you don't. And what if Grayson is the love of my life and another girl snatches him up before I can meet him? Do you want to have that on your conscience forever? <sighs> Stop sighing. Dating is a numbers game. And I didn't want to go to prom with Patrick, but I did it for you. The very least you can do is go on this date with Grayson for me. So I got my real estate license and I move up here. A lot of my properties go for seven or eight figures. Wow. I collect sports cars. I've got a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a limited edition Bugatti. Uh, wow, I used to collect vintage records. I, I am hoping to get a Pagani to my collection next, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, if you want to give me 15 bucks for your half, <laughs> <laughs> that'll cover your half. <laughs> Oh, you're not kidding. Um, here's a 20. I will get change. Thanks so much. So what are you looking for? In, in a guy? Hmm. Um, a best friend. Mm -hmm. Someone who loves me and listens to me. Someone who... Doesn't work around the clock, so they have time to help with the kids and the house and the dog and the meals and the laundry and getting everyone everywhere like a taxi. Someone who doesn't get upset when I don't have any more energy to give anymore at the end of the day. Kids, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone who appreciates me and doesn't take me for granted and doesn't take their work stress out on me. Yeah. Because, you know, <clears throat> like, no one gets married expecting it to end. People change. Mm -hmm. There isn't an easy answer to your question. I think I just want the same thing everyone wants. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> this has been uh, nice. Uh, ooh, I have to. I had this call. Okay. I think I scared him off. Is that my French mud mask? What? Yeah, this stuff is amazing. Yeah, it should be for what I paid for it. Trust me, he was not for you. I told you, dating is hard. You are so lucky you found your person in high school. Well, we know how that turned out. Although, on our first date, Patrick brought me a sunflower. And he held open all the doors and he paid for everything like a true gentleman. Hey, speaking of Patrick and the kids, I don't want you to worry about anything, okay? Keep enjoying yourself. You deserve this. Hang on. I think someone's in the house. Oh, no. Did you forget to lock the pantry? If Austin gets into the garbage, he's going to be sick on the carpet, and I just had them cleaned. Gross. Okay, the cleaner is under the sink. We have to let it... Shh, shh.
Taylor, what are you? What are you doing? What are you gonna do with this? You scared me. I almost clobbered you. Okay. I uh, Austin got into the trash. I got most of it. You guys forgot to lock the pantry. What are you doing here? I had to get some tools and towels from the basement. You could have done that in the morning and not scared me to death. <sighs> Your tree is gigantic. It's, it's crooked. Well, I blame Sebastian. I can fix it if you want me to. No, I like it. It's the leaning tree of Christmas. You like this. You. Well, I'm not that stringent. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit stringent. Oh, I, you, you remember this? Mark from the first Christmas? Gosh. So we started dating in high school, so that would have been what year? It's from the first Christmas after we got married. Right. Yeah. Remember we went to three different stores trying to find the perfect ornament? <laughs> right. right. Uh, hey, I've got, I've got to wash this mask off my face because it's drying. Do you want a coffee for the road? I stopped drinking coffee six years ago, remember? I'm going to go wash this mask off my face. So, what are you up to this evening? Oh, some friends are having a holiday party at the beach, and then tomorrow my roommate's having an ugly sweater party. <laughs> wow, you really do have a fun social life. I thought I would love it, but it's actually exhausting. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how I do it. All out of corn? Oh, no, no, I can't stand that stuff. Really? Since when? Oh, you know. It's not perfect, but... No, it's great. You're gonna be the hit of the toy drive. You know, I hope whoever gets this loves it as much as I did. I'm sure they will, honey. I never even wore this. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> you bought it for me. Yeah, I mean, you should wear it because floral ruffles are coming back. Hey, everybody. I have my donations. Um, you know what? You guys keep wrapping. I'm going to go to the store and buy some more paper and tape. Okay, well, I have a meeting in a half an hour. I can't miss it. Kaylin, are you listening to me? Yes. I cannot miss this meeting. Okay, I hear you. I'll be back in a jiffy. I've been waiting. Been wondering. Been wondering. And sadly, no phone call. That's because I'm being mysterious. You're making my vacation very mysterious indeed. Your vacation? I work part-time at the fire department, but my main job is teaching American history and coaching track at the high school. Oh, I thought you took that job for the summers off. I plead the fifth. <laughs> Though I do genuinely love history. Mm. Ah, if I recall, I got an A on my History of Christmas paper senior year. Oh, yeah? Golden star for you. <laughs> but you know what? I don't have one on me right now. Then I'll just take that cup of coffee instead. Does showing the kids how past events influence today's decisions, beliefs, and actions? I would have paid a lot more attention in school if my teachers were as passionate as me. i do my best. <laughs> okay. If you could go back to any time in history, mm -hmm. what would you choose? Mm. The Roaring Twenties. That's interesting. Why? 
Well, with the economic prosperity after World War One, it was an era of artistic, cultural, and social vivacity. Jazz, flappers, modern technologies, women won the right to vote. Just everything about that decade was novel and exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that would have been an amazing time to experience. Now, if only we could find a time machine. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Same question. Huh. golden age of piracy mm. wow <laughs> just sail around and find some gold and treasure mm. and spice you know mm. live the life i i could see you use another end body of mary reed thanks matey <laughs> <laughs> um oh boy it's been two hours wow how did that happen <laughs> Um, I really, really enjoyed this, but I really have to go. So thank you for the Christmas latte. You're welcome. I hope we can do this again soon. Yeah, so do I. Bye. Bye. Kaylin! Where you been? I've been calling and texting you for like an hour and a half. I'm so sorry. I lost track of time. Well, it's not like you to be so irresponsible. I said I was sorry. Well, I was worried. The kids were worried. I, I, I missed my meeting. Oh, I wish I had that time machine right now. What? Look, it won't happen again. I, um, I just have to finish wrapping. How did it go with Grayson? Oh no, not gonna happen. He is not the one. Sophia, honey, you gotta stop being so picky. <sighs> I used to think so too, but it is not a bad thing to have standards. Okay, so let's say Grayson isn't the right one, right? right. Nope. Nope. But if you don't lower your expectations, you're gonna end up alone. No one's perfect. Right. No one's perfect, that's true. I'm certainly the first to admit I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Are the kids okay? I, I have to leave for the farmer's market and uh, I'm blocked in. Oh, no. I, I need you to move your car. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't think you were going today because of the ugly Christmas sweater party. Wait, that's not until tonight. Oh, do you want me to make something? You, you said you were going to make your famous Christmas cheesecake? Right, of course I did. You know, that's actually my sister's recipe that I'm trying to pass off as my own. Green adventuring. What? It promotes calmness and joyfulness. I'm calm. I'm joyful. Kids are great. Oh, yeah, they're with me. Didn't I tell you that? No, you absolutely did not tell me that, and you know it. Uh, 
Yeah, so Patrick's dad was sick and they had to cancel the trip to Florida. Sophia, I can't believe you didn't tell me that. Just because he didn't want to come back to work? I mean, <sighs> I'm booking the first flight back. No. No, I didn't tell you because you've been so stressed lately and I wanted you to enjoy some time away. You always do everything for everyone else and put yourself last and I thought you could just relax and soak in some ocean air and have fun with my friends. Okay, well, I appreciate that and I know you meant well, but it's Christmas and I want to be with my kids. No! Okay, all the flights into Cleveland are canceled because of blizzards. Okay, okay. There's nothing we can do about it right now. And worrying doesn't help, so... Go have fun at the sweater party. I'll keep checking the airport and weather status. When did you become the reasonable twin? Um, I don't know. Having kids will do that to you. <laughs> Can't believe they haven't figured out it's not me. Okay, to be fair, I have been keeping my distance from Patrick. And the kids really only know their Aunt Sophia with long blonde hair, so... Yeah, I guess so. I am their mother. They also think you're having some kind of post-separation midlife crisis. Sophia, yeah, okay, great. Yeah, well, that would explain it. So keep me posted. Bye. Bye. donations on the table for the lady. Merry Christmas. I'm so proud of you two. Sometimes we forget that there are people who don't have as much as we do. Yeah. I'm glad we could help all these kids have a great Christmas too. <laughs> oh, wow. That's incredible. Oh, boy. What? Um, nothing. Why don't we go home and make those cookies? Um, see you in a bit, buddy. Yeah. Can we see Santa and Mrs. Claus, please? Yes, of course you can. Yes. I'll take it. Okay, great. I'll see you in just a couple minutes. Okay. Jonathan. Hey, thought that was you. <laughs> um, I didn't expect to see you here. The fire department is one of the Christmas Drive sponsors, so... Ah, oh, that's great. That's really great. Did you tell Santa what you want? Um... No, I didn't. I told Mrs. Claus. She has the better track record. Oh, well, then I better make sure to let her know what my Christmas wish is. Oh, what's that? No. I'm not going to tell. I can't tell you. It might not come true. Okay, well, give me a hint. Okay. Um, it might have something to do with New Year's Eve and getting a date with this beautiful, intelligent woman I recently met. Hope your wish comes true. <laughs> Me too. What are you doing later? Um, I have plans. I'm uh, doing some family stuff. Uh, I figured, but I, I thought I'd ask anyway. Um, if your plans change, give me a call. I'd love to see you. I think I, I think I heard the dryer. I didn't hear anything. Uh, no, I gotta get the laundry. <sighs> um, 
I'll be down in a minute. It's a lot of work looking after a family. I mean, it's worth it. Something you want to talk to me about? I don't think so, no. About your recent coffee date, perhaps? Uh, I promise you, it is not what you think. I'm married. That was... I'm vetting him for Sophia. What does your sister have to do with this? Everything. She hasn't met anyone nice in a really long time. And did I tell you she's actually thinking about moving out here? She'll need a job first, but she did finally work on her resume. And actually, you work in marketing, so I was going to ask you if you could look for any openings in our company. Kaylin, I want to talk about us, not Sophia. Look, can we, can we talk about us after Christmas? Well, why not now? It's important. <sighs> it was not supposed to be like this. You weren't supposed to be here. I just wanted a peaceful Christmas where I could watch holiday movies with Austin. This is not, this is just, I don't know what to do. Well, you always used to know what to do, and you always used to have all the answers. <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, you always used to be right. Where's that woman? Trust me, you don't want to know. Kaylin. Would you look at me? I can't. Okay. Since you don't know, here's, here's what's going to happen. I fixed the burst pipe in my apartment. I'm going to take the kids tonight, and then tomorrow we'll, we'll put on a brave face for Christmas. will take care of the rest. Patrick, no. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm... Oh, man. Charlotte, Sebastian, get your coats. We're going to have to have some last minute shopping. This is crazy. All the flights into the Cleveland area are grounded. Yeah, I saw the news. Midwest is getting dumped on. Good thing we live here, right? Oh, I'm um, so sorry. Excuse me. I have to take this. Of course. Hey, still haven't gotten the flight. No, you have to get back here right now. You have to get on a bus, charter a plane, anything. What's wrong? Is someone hurt? No, physically everyone's fine. But I just, <laughs> look, I tried to manage. I really, really did. And I don't know what. Everything's just a huge mess. Okay, uh, slow down. What happened? <sighs> Patrick is so mad at me. He is mad at you. I, I thought that if I told him what was going on, it would just make everything worse. You have to come home. Okay, Sophia, take a breath. I'm checking the weather. I'm gonna be on the first flight I can be on. Until then, enjoy Christmas with the kids. Give them a big hug from me and everything's gonna be okay. Yes, James. Hey, all those invoices coming along. Well... They're almost half finished. Mm -hmm. This job has taken more effort and focus than I expected. Yeah, that's good. It's very good. Uh, listen, I've got a problem. I dropped this. Now it doesn't work. So can you get IT? It's Christmas Eve. The IT department's gone home. Ah, OK. Well, let's take it out for repairs. I know the shops are open late. I am no longer your assistant. I'm an account manager, and I'd appreciate it if you started treating me like one. Huh. Well, you're right. You are not my assistant anymore. Hmm. So I guess I'll just handle this, will I? I guess so. I'm glad we cleared that up. Mm, me too. And I'd like you to approve my raise. It's been two months. You know I deserve it. Well, Sophia, <laughs> you're... happened I just got released from my employment contract 
What? Why? Insubordination tops the list, followed by a negative attitude. <laughs> and oh, um, did I mention I'm not a team player? Even though I gave up my vacation to work through the holidays? That's oh man. She, she's been talking about getting a new job for years, so... So now she just has to. I think you're, uh... I think you're in shock. You're talking about yourself in the third person. She... she... I... I'll, I'll just get something better, right? Something better will come along. This is a good thing, right? This is a good thing. This is a very good thing. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> Wow. We did it, Austin. We emailed my resume to 22 companies. And this is what we wanted, right, boy? A quiet, peaceful Christmas. Called. Um, I'm not interrupting your Christmas plans, am I? Not at all. I was finishing a shift at the fire department. <laughs> Have you ever tried roasted chestnuts? No, but I've sung about them. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's beautiful here, isn't it? Yeah. All we need are some carriage lanterns and our soldiers, and it would be just like your favorite decade, the mm. 1920s. Well, as F. Scott Fitzgerald would say in The Great Gatsby, that's my Middle West. Street lamps and sleigh bells in the frosty dark, and the shadows of holly wreaths thrown by lighted windows in the snow. Wow. Oh, yum. Should I do it? Do it. <laughs> I've never been married. Until now. Kaylin! Oh, hey, hi. I've been worrying about you being all alone at Christmas, but I can see now I don't need to be. Oh, have a wonderful holiday. You too. Um, it's getting late. I should probably go. I had a really great time tonight. I did too. <laughs> Jonathan, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? Um, I, uh, <laughs> Christmas.
What's going on, Cloud? I'm moving out. On uh, on Christmas? What? Uh, look, uh, if this is because of me, I'm going to be back to my easy breezy self next week, I promise. I, I already signed a new lease in a super cool house with three other artists who also work at the farmer's market. Cool. Well, what am I supposed to do? You have until New Year to be out. That's next week. I... Look, I have legal rights. It's my apartment and you didn't sign a lease, so no, actually, you, you don't. That figures that I wouldn't sign a lease. Okay, I'm going to pack up my stuff. What stuff is mine? I didn't know you'd be back so soon. Well, Sebastian couldn't wait to see what Santa brought. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Come on. Wait for me. Oh, wow. Look at these. <sighs> <sighs> I tell you that you were flying into ice and snow? I'm uh, coming back from California. I think my blood thinned while I was out there. Oh, well, where to? Home. Can't wait to see my kids. Uh, that's great, lady, but I still need an address. Okay, Santa, let's see what you got. <laughs> wow, it's exactly what I wanted. Santa's the best. This is so much better than Cancun. What? I said my heart is full in this room. Hey, Mom, can you help me set this up? Sure. What's wrong? I need to check the tires. Hang tight. It's flat. It'll take me a few to change it. Oh. Well, the coffee shop's open. I'll get a coffee. Do you want something? My treat? Black with cream, no sugar would be much appreciated. Okay. I'll get you when I'm done. Okay. There you go. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Did I spill on you? No, no, not at all. Um, okay. Are you okay? I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> good. Um, I had a really good time last night. Uh, oh, you... Yes, me too. Do you think we could maybe... Uh... It's gonna be a little while, lady. Oh. Do you need a ride somewhere? No, 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 no. Um... I, I, I need to get home. How long will you be? This is for you. Thanks. Uh, 15, 20 minutes? I can drop you off. Really, it's not a problem. Um. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. So, uh, what happened to your car that you were in a taxi? Oh, it wouldn't start, and I had errands. Last minute Christmas Day errands. You, uh... You needed all this stuff to run errands? No, um, no, I, no, I, I'm going home. And this isn't my luggage because it's my sister's. So, so she's coming to visit. I picked her up and 
and then my car wouldn't start. <laughs> Is she still in there? Oh, uh, no. Um, so what happened, so yeah, what happened is she lost her luggage and I had to pick it up from the airport for her. She's here, she's here, she's here, she's already here. Here. Okay, um, thank you. No, thank you. Right there, try this one. Hey, Merry Christmas. Hey, Dad, Merry Christmas. Hey. Where's your mother? Uh, she's upstairs resting. Hey, Dad, want to help us with the puzzle? Santa got it all the way from the North Pole for us. That's awesome, buddy, and I will. Let me just, uh, let me just get this garbage out first. Are you sure you want to leave that stuff outside? Yes, please. I, I don't mind. I can help you bring it in. No, it's good. Thanks. My sister... She likes cold clothes. She, it's, she's quirky. Uh, okay. So thanks for the ride. Um, Kaylin, about last really? night I... Patrick? What? Uh, who... Who is this? He's... Uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's kind of my... Um... I'm her husband. You're married. Yes, but it's not what it seems like. I, I think I should go. Um, I'm sorry. I, I had no idea she's married. I, if I did, I never would have. <sighs> Thought you were upstairs resting. Oh, I was. I, I, I am. Um, I'm exhausted from the Christmas excitement, and I'm gonna um, go back upstairs. Okay, well, we still have to talk. Can we do that later? Cool. Sophia, wake up. I'm home. You made it. I've been texting you. Oh, I think my phone's downstairs. Mom? Mom? Uh, I'll keep the kids in the family room. You go outside as soon as you can. Your stuff's by the side of the house. Oh, my beautiful girl. <sighs> Are you sick? No, just resting. It's a big morning. Hey, you want to help me make dinner? I thought we were having dinner catered this year. You're right. I forgot. <sighs> You're so weird. I know. It's your Christmas. Wait, let's go find your brother. surprise if I'd known you were coming I would have cleaned the guest room I'm sure it's fine well we're all really happy to have you Aww. yeah I'm so happy to see you all I realized that for Christmas there is nowhere I'd rather be than with family <laughs> well, you look at this our first catered Christmas dinner yeah, that was a pretty fantastic idea you had to let someone else cook Christmas dinner so you could spend the day with your kids. Yeah, I have my moments sometimes, don't I? Hey, 
everybody. Hello, hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You invited him. You said you'd keep a happy face to get through today. Do you want to pass one to your brother? Sophia. Hi. Hey, I didn't, I didn't know you were visiting for Christmas. Yeah, I thought I'd surprise everyone. Oh, that's great. The kids had an amazing time when we visited you last summer. Yeah. yeah. How long are you staying? Just a couple days. Wow, that's a lot of luggage for just a couple days. I, I wanted to make sure I had everything I need. Actually, Sophia's going to stay with us for a little while. Oh, I wish I could, but I do have to get back to work. It's okay. You can tell them. I'll tell them. Sophia was fired for insubordination and not being a team player. Yeah, I... Yeah, I was let go. I, I'm sorry I wasn't ready to tell any of you that because I was so shocked. I still don't believe it. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that, Sophia. What's insubordination? It just means Aunt Sophia is looking for a new job that she enjoys, where she gets paid what she deserves and treated with respect. Yes, that's right. Anyway, I still can't stay for too long because I still have an apartment to get back to. But actually, weren't you telling me <laughs> that your roommate canceled your lease and moved out with her new artist friends? Yeah, I did. And I know you didn't want me to tell everyone that, but um, we're your family and we love you and we're here to support you any way we can. Well, I appreciate that. I'm really sorry to hear all this, Sophia. Thank you. Yes, it has been a rough week. I mean, things like this usually work out in the end, though, right? Yeah, there's a silver lining to any situation if you look for it. Okay, who wants to say grace? <sighs> okay, we're gonna put it right over there. I got it. Come on. I got it. Move this out of the way. Okay. I got this. Right there. Set it down. Cool. Should I be looking? Well, technically, you weren't evicted. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should thank you for doing what I should have done a long time ago. And actually, I have a lot to tell you. I... Hey, you need some help? No, thanks. I think we got it. By the way, that's a beautiful ring, Sophia. And actually, it, it uh, reminds me of the one I got my lovely bride. Yeah, because it's hers. Well, she let me try it on, and uh, I hadn't given it back yet. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about getting a similar one, but with different stones. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a trend now of um, buying a wedding ring for yourself. It's like, who, who needs a man, right? Mm. Uh, by the way, Sophia, if you're actually thinking of moving here, my company has an opening for director of marketing. I think I can get you an interview. Uh, really? That would be amazing. Thank you, Patrick. I was, I was just about to tell you that I'm seriously considering moving back here. Please move to Ohio. I know that your life in California is really exciting, but we would just really love to have you close by. I've been feeling the need for a change for a long time, and the kids are growing up so fast, and I miss my twin sister, and I just want to be closer to you all. And... Yeah. Plus, you can spend some more time with your boyfriend, Jonathan. I mean, long distance, right? That's so tough when you're first starting out. Whew. Well... He's not my boyfriend yet, and long distance is... No, um... I know why it's confused. Yeah, so... Kaylin wanted me to meet Jonathan because... Um... She, she was like... Okay, no, no, just, just stop, okay? So it was you the whole time pretending to be my wife? That's real nice, Kaylin.
Patrick, wait. Have you done this before? Switched on me? Just once. It was junior prom. I was sick. Becky McKinnon had a huge thing for you. Sophia when is you? Yeah. Look, wait. We used to trick our parents all the time. They couldn't tell us apart either. For the record, I wouldn't have just dumped you because you're sick. But you're not a teenager anymore, so to switch like this now... Okay, I'm sorry. Enjoy your time in California? Did you did you like being Sophia? I did, actually. It helped me realize some things. Oh, what, that you just love the single life? No, as a matter of fact. Sorry to interrupt. Kaylin, you forgot this in my truck. Thanks. Oh, uh, wait, Jonathan, right? There's, um, before you go, somebody I want you to meet. Patrick? Sophia? No, it's okay. Sophia! <laughs> Whoa, um... Oh, apparently my wife and her twin sister switched places this Christmas. I'm confused. I am Kaylin. We just met today. Then who was I? That was me. I'm Sophia. This is... So you're not married? No. 100% single. Yeah, they've been doing this whole switcheroo game since high school, so... You know, joke's on us. Go say goodbye to the kids. Sorry. I... Do you think we could, um... What? Pick up where we left off? I don't know a single thing about you. You lied to me about everything. No, I didn't. Everything I told you was true. Except my name. <laughs> and that I live in California. And that I have a twin sister. But I mean, I... I really wanted to tell you. I... I... <laughs> I really like you. I sure have a funny way of showing it, pretending to be someone else. Can we start over? I don't see how I can trust you anymore. You can trust me. I, uh, don't think I can get past this. Lying by omission is still lying. I'm sorry, Kaylin. Just Sophia, but whoever you are. You said you wanted to talk. I'm ready to talk. Honestly, I don't think I have anything more to say. Let's just talk in the lawyer's office. Look, I just didn't want to be home alone. You were supposed to be out of town. I needed a break from my life. I mean, I needed a break from me. Like, I... <laughs> Somewhere in the midst of all the go, 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 I... forgot that we're meant to enjoy our lives. We're supposed to enjoy the moments while we have them because in the end i mean that's all we have go on so this past week i i realized more than ever that i want our life together i want our family and i know i need to change things and i'm going to work on that but you need to change things too Okay. So, from now on, weekends are for family time. And I'm going to hire a cleaning service so that I'm not always so stressed <laughs> about the house. Because, I mean, we only have so much time before the kids are grown and they're off to college. 
Is there more? We're supposed to be each other's best friends. You know? We have to treat each other with kindness and respect. No more sarcasm, no more taking each other for granted. Okay, I can agree to all that. Is there more? Yeah, I want you to take me on dates again. <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want you to buy me sunflowers and chocolates and hold the doors open for me and pay for dinner. And I want you to listen to me like you used to. Yeah, you're getting pretty demanding. Anything else? Yeah, one more thing. I want you to come home. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for us to get so off track, okay? I didn't... I won't let it happen again, okay? I love you, Kaylin. I love you, too. Forever. I just need to add one more thing. Yeah, what is it? You and Sophia need to promise to never switch on me again. Okay, I promise. You hear anything from Jonathan? No, I've sent texts and left messages, but haven't heard back. Well, maybe he just needs more time. It's almost New Year's, you can start with a fresh slate. Or maybe he just doesn't want anything to do with me. Mom said we get the angriest at the people we love the most. So, if he's that mad, he must really love you. I hope that's true, sweetie. Mom and Dad didn't give up on love, so you shouldn't either. Oh, you should listen to my girl. She's a smart one. All right. That's the last of it. Thank you so much for moving my stuff. That's no problem. I had to get my stuff out of that apartment anyway. So I, uh, I paid the rent for six months. That should give you enough time to start your new job, save a little money. I appreciate this so much, Patrick. You're welcome. What are you smiling at? My Christmas wish came true. So did mine. So did mine. So did mine. Got something for you? You are throwing a New Year's Eve party. No, no. I just offered the venue. I'm not the host. 